what's going on people of youtube welcome back and today we are continuing the journey of hellblade now we just completed the mission with the deception god valravin and now we're making our way to helheim we've unlocked the last seal and now we get to go through so let's go see what's on the other side of that door all right welcome back everybody so, as I mentioned in the beginning, we just defeated the Deception God, uh, Valravin, and now we're continuing our journey to uh, Helheim. So, we just unlocked the last seal, and this is now the exit to go to... back to the beginning. When she was younger... She would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And there she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. In the trees. The mountains. Caves. I don't really care. Look for them. Ooh, Same. look Mother. at the faces. Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld. The underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? Nope. That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, <clears throat> first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. Jesus, man, gotta take this long ass walk back every single time. Did I get this one? Ymir was a frost giant. Yeah, I did. A being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters. Wait, how many of these did I miss? Others, fair. If they're lit, they're, they're completed, right? The ice. Burry. In ship, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair yeah, giant see? to be his wife. Missed three. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. Yeah, whatever. The old father. We ain't got time for that. We're going to hell right now. Stuff's about to get real. With the mark of Valravan. And the mark of Sirt, you may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Perfect. Let's do this. Why open this shit. Open the gate. Open the no, gate. Don't. don't. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. Don't. She's done it. Uh, what? It's so dark. It's so dark. It's dark. The dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross into hell. Anyone? 
There is no one here but me. Whoa. Who are you? Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. The hell? Damien! Ooh, they flayed him. In this waking nightmare, where all dreams come true, you searched for control, a way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears to smother your furies and banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, that your home so far away. They've taken his soul. To these gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoilt by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. Still beats a heart. The darkness touched you. Yeah, everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. Did I like it? A gaze. A from life. You ran from it, but brought it nearer. Led it to him. And that's the look of a woman that's got and nothing to lose. Worse than death. And you wanted to surrender, abandon, and to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Let's do it. I ain't scared. Oh, you again, huh? Let's go, my guy. The gods made you a warrior for a reason. 
It's your call. nuts <clears throat> finish my walk Get up. You got this. Don't let this guy get you. Come She's on. Injured. She, she ain't injured. Come on. 
remember your training. Serious? Anybody else? Holy crap. Every door I open, let me guess, I'm going to get punched in the face. <clears throat> Just making sure nobody's behind the door. What do we got? However you come to the gold covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild 
who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. Yeah, I get it. Shut up. Okay, we can't open that door. All right, let's find BX. to go out here there's nothing else for me what is this broken shard stuff right here There's nowhere else for me to go. I don't. I don't see. go back through here obviously where the hell else is it supposed to do I, I don't understand like do you have to make this so damn difficult to where it's impossible to find like I get the challenge of the game but holy crap it's a little much sometimes
Come on, man. Where in the hell am I supposed to go? There's only three locations. You got there, you've got here, and you've got here. The only icon that ever popped up was in that other room. Like, what am I missing? That leads to I did not mean to do that. You may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. Like something tells me I'm supposed to get up here on this second floor because there's ladders. But how in the hell do you get up there? Like these stairs and this fragmented piece leads me to believe that there's something I'm missing here. But of course, It'll take me four hours to figure that out. <clears throat> oh, hey, look, there's an S right there. See it? Come on, give it to me. Give it, give it to me. Come on. I don't understand. There's no way to get up there. All right, it's gotta be something here, right? Cause this is the only place I haven't done anything. But what's weird is like that. Like I see the shards. Ooh. Focus. Hey, focus. <laughs> yeah, and now there's just magically a ladder there. Come on. over here I know that see right here <clears throat> now we're looking for the ribbon looking thing right hey look at that open yet 
No? Alright, whatever. Alright, anybody gonna punch me in the face now? Whoever's gonna come out is gonna catch these damn hands. It's coming. Let That's him come. Again. Is it? Is it? Is it? Tell her. Yes. The source of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. Let's go. I'm sorry. I can't watch this. Um. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Let's do this. Come on. Get up. Get up and fight! She wasn't ready! Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. The shadow Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Do it. Come on. Dare. Uh, what? Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer? That we do not dare pose the question. Sometimes the answer lies in a memory. A feeling. A song. It's not real. It's true. It's not real. Listen to it. She can't Dilly. give up. Dilly. Dilly. It's not like this. It's not real. It's real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Please. You 
It ain't no damn trick. I need you to shake this off, okay? We got stuff to do, people to kill, people to save. Casper. boats are pretty cool before she first met him she was not in a good place just a teenager but not like the others barely functioning she rarely left the house her father's in bell made sure of that only occasionally did she venture out on her own firewood and herbs errands out in the Orkney plains that was her world like this one barren and lonely His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, and the sword comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution.
death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Ooh, do tell. Can I... I'm guessing I don't open this yet? Alrighty then. Maybe I gotta go capture my my boy toy over there. I hear you, man. All this run has got me tired, too. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any of these stones, man. I could be hiding anywhere. I want to know what happens next. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last. Sigmund holds on, the chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him, but their blood is weak and corrupted, and they are put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Mm. Very nice. <laughs> That. Where are you going? Where is she going? What is she following? You can't even fight. It's just deception. How does he so effortlessly call to the world and bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew.
What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you. And... You... learned all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Yeah, you tell him. Shut your ass up. Well, let's go find him, shall we? Can you see him? You want to believe it. Is he not real? Is he there? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Dillian? Nothing lives here. He so won't survive. <laughs> you met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. Maybe it's a sign, the tree. What's he trying to tell you? Oh, is this not a... For you by the tree. Not a thing. Looks like it should be. Sigmund's sister trades shifts with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured and Sigir has them buried alive. Well, that sucks. That's a hell of a way to go. Can you imagine being buried alive? I'm just out here running around on the beach. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. Mm. King burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out but only to tell him the truth. But she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Jesus. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay.
Well, with that being said, I guess we should just go home. Is that the final piece? Uh, no, it's not. Ooh, look at this. Nothing. Oh, another sword. First challenge. Where is it? Find, Find it. it. There it is. Focus. Focus. The shot. Focus. Focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. What can you see? Go. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn and it would be the death of the king let me tell you about the sword tearving i don't recognize this place where are we where is she it feels wrong where are we now uh what it's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Well, hopefully I don't have to do too much. I don't have a sword. Go in. You have to go in. Take the torch. It's too dark. Take it. This will help you. Careful. You have to be able to see. Who's there? Oh, this is not what I signed up for. Right hand search. Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? So I can go right or I can go left. Well, it sounds like the noise is coming from over here. Yes. Can I light you? Hey, there we go. Yes, 
Finally, you found him. <clears throat> What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. Yeah, no kidding. Find him, get him back. Just there. How All right. Could you lose I guess we're gonna go back this way. You, just you ladies cackling. Hey, naturally we should go in the direction of the already lit torch, right? Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another way. Think. 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 Focus. Use your mind. I can hear him. You have to find another way to help. you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker, born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Tyrving, huh? The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. Just grab one of these. You done with this already? herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader when they come to the island where her father is buried her men do not want to go ashore they say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night fearless she lands alone there are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them she comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were missed. Oh, really? The flames oh, I passed Jesus. through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Already? Dead end.
Wasn't I just... I was literally just here. going in circles. <laughs> Where are we? She has no idea. We're going round in circles. You have fallen in. You see me? It's the same. It looks the same. Something's different. Look for clues. What is it? Look for What's clues. What's different? There's a clue. <gasps> been in there. That voice. It's not Dillian. Bro, I swear to God. I don't have a sword to slap anybody around, all right? Are done. Dillion wants me to face my fears. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief and son. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. 
The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. Whoa. I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Very nice. Okay, so we got through the gates at Helheim, uh, and then we got slapped in the face, got knocked off the bridge. Uh, then we found the Tree of Life, or the Tree of Death in this matter, um, with a sword. We found the first shard, or I'm assuming we found the first shard. We went through the trial, uh, and that's what we're going to call it here tonight. So in the next episode, we're going to be doing the rest of the shards and try to progress a little bit further. So make sure you guys hit that bell notification. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed or you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, and make sure you hit the bell so that way you guys don't miss the next episode. Uh, until the next one, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.